This is a video on how to connect a Paramount Series IP camera to a Hike Vision or third party MVR. There's a few things you'll need in order to get this done while you are on site. Um, a laptop is one. Network cables connecting from the camera to the MVR. And to make sure that you have the IP tool 2.0 from the website. Right now, I'll show you the connections to the MVR. So you'll plug your camera into port one, and then your network cable coming from your laptop, you can plug it into any other open camera port on the MVR. And then from there, we will download the IP tool 2.0 from the website and proceed with getting it configured to work on this MVR. Okay, so now we need to go to the website, which is invidtech.com, so we can download the IP tool 2.0. Now, once on the website, you will go to support. Then scroll down to Paramount series. Under Paramount series, we need to select PC downloads. Now this IP tool 2.0 is specifically made for a Windows based PC. So in this case, yes, you should be using a Windows based PC. Once selected on Paramount series downloads for PC, we want to scroll down and look for IP tool 2.0 utility for PC. We'll select that and then hit download here. Now, if you are using Internet Explorer, you can just hit run. Any other browser, if it's Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox or Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Edge, you can still hit run as well. Um, let the download finish. And then once it's finished downloading, you can proceed with uh, starting the installation. Okay. So now that we have the IP tool 2.0 downloaded, we're going to proceed with the installation. So here we will click next and then accept the terms of the license agreement. Click next again. We're going to click next one more time and next again. So now we'll bring up the Microsoft Visual C++. You can click next here to repair it. If it's not installed, you can click next to install it. Um, if you have a newer version of Microsoft Visual C++, um, it may show you just close down at the bottom right. You'll hit close and then proceed with the installation. So in this case, I'm hitting repair and then I'm gonna hit finish. As you can see here, it's bringing uh, to, to the next step and we'll go hit next again. And now we're pretty much finished with the uh, installation. So now after we hit finish, we're going to proceed with going into changing the IP address of the IP camera. Okay, so now we currently have the camera plugged into port one of the MVR and it is now populated on the IP tool. Um, as you can see, the, the, the camera has a different IP address than that of the MVR. So what we need to do is now select the camera and address it to match that IP address of that port, which it is 192.168.254.2. And the gateway is 192.168.254.2. And the password of the camera is the default password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. You then hit modify. It says modify the device network parameters successfully. We hit okay. We wanna wait and make sure that we see that the IP address as well as the gateway matches to what we input. Now we'll proceed with going over to the MVR and making those changes there so the camera can connect to the MVR.
Okay, so now we are over to the Hype Vision NVR and we want to make sure that we have this camera connected now. So we'll go over here to menu, select the menu in the upper left, it's a home, then go down to camera. From camera, we need to select the port one, which as you can see, it shows the IP address, shows the onvith, and now uh, we just, it says the username or password is wrong. So now we'll need to select the pencil and paper. We're going to switch that adding method over from plug and play to manual. The IP address matches the IP address of the camera. The protocol is on VIF and the management port is port 80. Now down here, all we need to do is type in the password of the camera, which is once again, the default password that is one, two, three, four, five, six. You can hit enter right after. Always make sure you double check. You hit the eyeball to make sure you typed in the password correctly. And then hit the enter again, then hit OK. Usually this takes about anywhere from 15 to 15 seconds to one minute. And you should see the camera populate. So now as you can see, the camera did it does have a play button did populate, we can go out to the live view and bring the camera up. Um, I'm waving my hand over it right now. So you can see that the camera is connected.